بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم dear students we are in lecture number 11 and today we will be doing example 3.2 and practice problem 3.2 so these are from the books and uh, i will be explaining this 3.2 from the book and 3.2 this practice problem 3.2 for my own solution so i just show you my book uh, that the that textbook so this is the chapter that we are just right now covering the chapter number 3 and this chapter number 3 this chapter uh, this chapter number 3 is very important for uh, uh, circuit analysis and for all electrical related courses uh, for next semester also and for your career also so this this is the most important topic uh, of uh, mesh uh, Uh, nodal analysis and mesh analysis right now we are cover covering nodal analysis and in the next topic we will be doing mesh analysis so there are two methods uh, basically for solving a circuit and i had told you that what does that uh, solving a circuit means the solving a circuit means that uh, that you have to find out the different uh, voltages across different elements and then uh, you also have to find out the current through different uh, uh, circuit elements so in this way if you know the current and the voltage is uh, then you can e easily find out the power also uh, right so we are uh, just uh, uh, using the passive sign convention and passive sign convention what does it mean it it means that for a, a element that is providing the current the current will be coming out of the positive terminal and for a element that is uh, consuming the power the current will be going into the terminal of uh, the into the positive terminal of the the element right so you just please uh, uh, make sure that you understand this passive sign convention i again just say again uh, speak it again uh, uh, what is it that if a device i just show you by example i just take out one example yes uh, oh, this is not the right circuit for it explaining i will just uh, try to take out a circuit where i just can show you that what does it mean i will just show you yes so if the current is coming out of this positive terminal that means that this supply is providing you the power and this is the voltage the voltage across this resistor is going to be uh, some voltages across this resistance what will the voltage across this uh, this resistance uh, think of it uh, across this 2 ohm resistance it will be v1 minus v2 if this is considered as a, uh, if this will be considered the positive sign you always remember this will be considered as positive sign because this current is entering into this 2 ohm resistance from this side so the side from where the current is current enters is a positive side for the voltage and this side Uh, this uh, end of this uh, resistor, this terminal of this resistor, resistor, uh, from where the current is coming out, this is this this will be considered as negative terminal. So if you just find out the voltage across this resistor, it will be V1 minus V2. So please uh, be very sure that you understand this uh, signs. How do you take the signs, negative or positive? So again, this the current will be coming out of this positive terminal. The conventional current, conventional current means. Uh, we will be considering the current uh, coming out of positive terminal that is called conventional current right normally the current is basically due to the electrons and electrons are uh, the stream of electrons is coming out of this negative terminal but uh, uh, for uh, 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 sake of uh, the the, um, the this uh, convention was used a long time before so we are we will just stick to it and uh, the thing uh, the direction of the current is relative so it is not going to affect the calculation either you take the positive uh, conventional current or electronic current but uh, while solving the circuit you have to stick to one convention either you take it positive to negative or negative to positive but you have to just stick to one one otherwise uh, you will be just uh, having problems so we will always be following the conventional current so last time we had solved uh, uh this uh, example uh, example 3.1 and we had done practice problem 3.1 so 
before doing this lecture i will just again tell you that you please try to attempt this uh, on your own by your own hand so that you know what are the steps and if you just find any difficulty you can just watch the video video it lecture number 10 so in this lecture number uh, 3.2 in this lecture number 11 we will be solving 3.2 determine the voltages at the nodes so these are the nodes and they have already sh showed us that what are the non reference nodes so they have just already mounted 1 2 and 3 and we have to find out v1 and v2 and v3 and this is a reference node all the voltages that is v1 and v2 and v3 will be considered from with reference to this reference node and the voltage for a reference node is considered as zero voltage so this is written as zero just to show that this is considered as zero voltages okay so what are the steps in this uh, the although this is a solid example but i will just walk you through the, the examples quick, this example quickly so you have a good understanding and then you can attempt the practice problem right so uh, now the directions of the current the arbitrary directions of the currents have been uh, drawn here uh, this is the current source that's why this uh, current is already uh, flowing in one particular direction that is upward so there is no need to uh, assign it a direction it is already there okay so this current is uh, going away from this uh, from the node and this uh, away from the node that is that it is going to into the terminal of positive uh, terminal of 4 ohm resistance so it is going away from the node and it has been drawn arbitrary you can just take it uh, the other way also that is downwards it is completely up to you but whatever direction you have just taken you must be knowing that how to handle it and how to make uh, make the equation uh, correct equa equations so uh, these are completely arbitrary directions that they have taken. Now we will start uh, uh, writing the equation. So at node 1, this is node 1. This is node 1. At node 1, uh, how many currents are going or coming towards the t from this node? Going towards the node or going away from, away from the node? So this no con no current is coming towards the node, this 3 ampere. That's why this has been written as on the one side of the equation or the current is going away from the, the away from the node are written on the other side of the, the equation you can just also make it uh, the way I just do it when I solve problems uh, on my copy on register I just take it a uh, positive side for the currents which are coming towards the node and the negative t t negative polarity for the currents that are going away from the node so this is also same here you just bring if you just bring all these quantities on the left side of the equation so it will become 3 minus i1 minus ix and these minuses are for uh, the direction because they are going away from the node node which is very obvious that you see that this I, ix is going away from the node and this uh, i1 is going also away from the node so either you write 3 minus i1 minus ix is equal to 0 or you write a 3 minus 3 equals i1 plus ix so, so it brings at no difference at all so now we have to what is the second step uh, after applying the kcl this is the, this is the step of applying kcl that the sum of the currents of the node is zero uh, that is the statement of the kcl you all know about it so now what we have to do is we have to write these currents in terms of the voltage node voltages so i just explain you how this is uh, this is just uh, happening so this 3 ampere is already a current and uh, uh, we have to write to this I1 uh, in terms of the voltages and it has to be a current so it will be voltage divided by the resistance so what voltage we will be taking for this I1 this I1 so we will be taking the resistance of 4 ohms voltage divided by 4 ohms resistance and what what is the voltage across this 4 ohm resistance it is the voltage of this point minus this point and what is the voltage of this point this is V1 and it is the V1 so V, v oh sorry V3 so this is V1 minus V3 so that's why it is written V1 minus V3 and divided by the 4 plus uh, what other current is coming towards the node or going away from the node so this is going away from the node that is Ix Ix is going on the right side of this to right on the right side so it will be taken as positive uh, it will be taken as negative if it, this x is here on the left side of the equation it would, be, would it would have been negative but they have just written it on the other side of the equation that's why this is negative has been just uh, removed uh, this ix is 
the voltage across this 2 ohm resistance divided by the value of the resistance that is 2 ohms that this 2 ohms is visible here so it will be written as v1 minus v2 All right so in the same way we will be just applying uh, and then we have to simplify this equation uh, simplify the equation and we, this is the simplified equation and this is a standard uh, equation form uh, because uh, in we are using calculator to solve the simultaneous equations and finding out the values of v1 v2 and v3 so we have to write the equation in, in in its standard form that is all the variables on the left side with their coefficients and uh, the value which uh, con they are equal on the right side so uh, using calculator is very easy <laughs> if anybody has any problem in the uh, using the calculator just he can or he, she can just uh, send me a uh, whatsapp query you can just send me any whatsapp query i will be just inshallah answering those queries in the form of video lectures and uh, also in the form of uh, query session so this is a wednesday and i have scheduled a query session uh, at two o'clock so inshallah we will be meeting there and it is going to be very important lesson uh, because uh, i will be marking the attendance in that and uh, very soon uh, in next uh, week uh, i will also be announcing a quiz so please be prepared for quiz also so we will have a small quiz of 10 marks out of 100 marks and uh, that will be done completely on lms all right so the simplifying it and then again uh, doing the steps you can understand it and applying the kcl on the uh, the remaining two nodes and simplifying the equation and then solving it through, through the calculator we will just get the result what are the results the results are the results are mentioned here so v1 v2 v3 they are using cramer's rule to, to solve the equations but these are the requirements that is v1 is equal to 4.8 v2 is equal to 2.4 and v3 is minus 2.4 so moving on from here uh, we have reached uh, this uh, how much time i already have recorded it is 12 so i have to finish it in at, at the most 10 minutes 8 minutes all right so i just put it down minimize it i again minimize it and then open it so, uh, sometimes it uh, gives you an error and this uh, that this black screen remains on the screen uh, this bending cam recorder so then uh, the whole time is just wasted in that way so i just take a bit special care i just minimize it and then maximize it just to make sure that this is screen is on the top when i am discussing it uh, so i just tell you this online teaching is not uh, very easy uh, it's much much more difficult than the conventional classroom teaching so anyway uh, allah help us may allah help us in all this uh, uh, scenario and uh, in this uh, extreme conditions uh, we must be remaining focused towards uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we should be very regular in our prayers in the Rosa. Right, this is the problem at hand. This is practice problem. Uh, and these are the answers given already there. So, uh, the nodes are marked as 1, 2 and 3. And this is a reference node. So, here I have just made this uh, diagram available to you all the time. And then I will be just discussing the numerical... Uh, from uh, from here right so this is the second screen that uh, is uh, okay I just reduce uh, uh, zoom level here okay so this is the two screens are exactly the same now I am just scrolling it uh, towards I am going towards the solution applying KCL on node 1 this is node 1 so uh, we have to draw the directions of the current I have just not I have just drawn the direction of the RGT directions this is going away from the node and this is also going away from the node and this 4 enter current is a current source that's why this is already the direction is already there already there so I don't have to just uh, do anything so it is going towards the node that's why this is positive 4 and this current in 3 ohm resistance is going away from the node that's why this is, has been taken as minus and the magnitude is v1 minus v2 divided by 3 and this current is also going away from the node that is minus the, uh, that means it comes in minus v1 the voltage of this node minus v3 that the voltage of this node this uh, v3 v1 minus v3 and divided by the value of the resistance so uh, this is the equation 
Uh, now we are just doing the simplifying steps. This uh, 3 and 2 are the LCM which will be coming in the denominator and this 6 multiplied by 4 is 24 and this 2 will be multiplied with this uh, 2 V1 and minus and this minus will become plus that's why I have just written it as plus 2 V2 and then from going in the going further in the same way uh, we can just find out that this is the standard form this is the equations one of the simultaneous equation we just wanted to to solve to get so this uh, is uh, one equation and then applying uh, KCL on node 2 this is node 2 so you can just easily convince yourself and uh, understand okay, what is being done here uh, this uh, is uh, uh, the current this with this current which this current we in the in the last equation this was going away from the node 1 but this is now coming towards the uh, going towards the node 2 that's why this will be taken as positive here and the magnitude of the voltages across this resistance is going to be the same that is V1 minus V2 so you must understand that either it is going away from the node or going to towards the node uh, it will be taken always as a tail minus the head of this arrow tail, tail, tail curve voltage is V1 and the head voltage is V2 that's why this is taken as V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance value that is 3 ohms in the same way this V2 this uh, V2 divided by 4 is the current which is going downwards and this is also a current which uh, the, the numerical also has mentioned it as Ix this Ix is being used in this 4Ix in the dependent uh, uh, current source so this is also again going going towards the node that's why this is written as 4Ix but 4Ix is not the, our variable we already have three variables uh, V1 minus uh, no V1, V2 and V3 so we do don't need this ix so we will just find out what is what is the value of the ix from the circuit diagram we can just see that this ix is going to be the current to this 4 ohm resistance and the what is the voltage of this 4 ohm resistance what is the voltage across this 4 ohm resistance it is v2 because this voltage is already taken as reference node that means that this is a zero voltage so the voltage is v2 minus zero that means v2 so ix is written as v2 upon 4 here this ix has been replaced as v2 upon four and then simplifying the steps uh, just taking the lcm and just finding out the equation number two this is the equation number two in the same way we will be applying kcl on node three you follow the steps yourself uh, this uh, current of 4x is now going away from the node that's why this has been taken as minus in the last in the last uh, equation it was taken as positive because it was coming towards the four node two but it is now going away from the node three so in the same way applying just these uh, uh, currents and that uh, be very careful about the direction and uh, uh, convince yourself that you understand how to take the directions so these are the simplifying steps and now we have three equations and then solving the three equations using calculator we come out to be 32, 25 and 64 so what were the results of this? this is 62, sorry this was 62 this is 62, 62.4 so this is 62.4 so these are the answers our answers are matching with the, um, the 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 book answers so if you do this by your own own hand you will become very good in this practice uh, okay so bye for now see you